Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and in today's video I will be showcasing the team I climbed with in the fantasy cup I started at 2503 and uh, sorry 05 why 25 of why am I in the 2500 basically you have to go and watch the double electric challenge video I made and then you will know uh, it's a totally recommended video so we started at 2505 and then we ended uh 2730 so we climbed 225 in five sets I went to 20 and four with this team what is the team uh well basically the the cup started and then I looked up at the stuff I have and I'm like you guys know that if you watch the best teams guide I made for this cup uh that uh, Tortonator is actually good so I looked up I have a good one then I'm like should I build it should I build it should I build it and I'm like I kept like okay let's see so we built it okay now we need to double move it because we cannot just use single move right because what if we get switch locked so we get the overheat now we get the, the candies we get the candies we give it a second charge move that thing rotates and now we give it a dragon pulse we, I, I was i thought somehow this thing has a dragon claw and remember it wasn't it doesn't actually have a dragon claw i remember that was like uh, something uh yonka suggested at one point to make that thing good so we are looking at the moveset because i do have two shadow flygon built so what's the team the team is a team i actually mentioned in the uh, best teams that i will be playing it's shadow flygon azu and tapu Fiend. we're playing easy one of the best players in the world and he is leading a whimsicott uh how does this game uh well he still doesn't know my moveset so i'm going straight scroaching sand because i could be carrying a uh, stone edge if you guys know the stone edge hits for a lot of damage he knows that i'm trying to chip so he can swap out he saw the move and he was like okay uh uh you, you don't have it anymore and he swapped to his own flygon i think i should have thrown a move and then swapped out but i'm like this is an unshadow flygon so here's the thing why am i running shadow flygon over non-shadow flygon shadow flygon with two scorching sand can mud shot if you land two scorching sand you can mud shot down the azu in the two shield the non-shadow flygon look even the animation is scuffed look at that it's actually flying it doesn't do that look how much it does they need three moves the non the shadow needs two moves if you don't have the shadow you could still run the non-shadow it's actually better in the registeel matchup or because the shadow almost get one shotted but the shadow is better for the azu matchup and since bubble doesn't do that much because it's a neutral yes it's a ground but it's subtyping the other subtyping is uh dragon and see we won the zero one and now we're just gonna swap out we see a meanwhile and that's a top left his team is weak in the back against the flygon so we take that game number one and we move to the next one and we get a horrible lead and this is why you need a shadow flygon i insta swapped but technically later into the game i started changing that place so this is not how you're supposed to play the azo lead uh, Azu into Empoleon is actually not a bad matchup. They hit you with a neutral drill pick, but it's not the end of the world. I think you still win the one. Uh, you technically always win if you run Hydro Pump. If you land the Hydro Pump, you could literally like win, but that's why you need to fake it against the Empoleon. This is something I remember from back in the days when I used to play Empoleon in the great league my blood my friend bloody bananas used to run that pokemon a lot and he told me that azu actually went because i used to think it doesn't so look how much scorching sand from the shadow flygon do almost half not technically half but the mud shot will make it half so now since we got lots of energy in the lead here i can just throw two and then swap out now we still two shields up I can shield this because why not? Not because I'm supposed to, remember? And look at this. I am running a Hydro Pump. Tapu Fini. It's single moved. I am, I've am. i been using the wrong Tapu Fini the entire time. Hopefully, maybe, you know, I'm going to actually add a... <laughs> and now we're just going straight for the Hydro Pump. Does If this Hydro Pump lands, we will win. And look how much damage it does it does a lot and then we can farm all the way down so that was a good game upon didn't see that coming and they top left it well that was a good game moving into the next one we have flygon into registeel this is a dominant matchup for the flygon they swapped in a tap of Fini. i always like to throw a move then swap because if they shield i can go to azu 
If they know shield, I can go to Tapofini, farm all the way down. I don't need to shield this because if they have Reggie and they decide to farm down, I will get to three moves. Uh, so, what do we do here? Uh, they brought the Azu now. So, what's the play here? We're just going straight for these uh, Moon Blasts here. Uh, I want to bait here, but I was like, I am not sure if I make it. So, let's see. If I make it to Surf, then baiting would have been a good option. Since we didn't make it, then nuking was actually the play. And here, we just brought the Azu to soak all the energy. The moment they swap, we will swap. Remember. So, what's the play here now? Uh, I, I'm going to shield here, even if this is a Zap debuff. And then we're gonna farm but uh, until we have two and okay i could have done one more mod shot because this is supposed to ko no so i'm gonna over farm here and then throw on cmp because Reggie still gets to a move every seven seconds and a half 15 turns i can safely shield here mod shot all the way down and then nuke the azu i'm just gonna blindly throw i don't care about timing at this point because this is gonna do lots of damage then we will swap opponent has no play and they decided to top left they don't have a, a wink on here okay moving into the next game we still decide we still undecided and decisive of what should we be doing well we're gonna keep blocking this team because we're gonna climb a lot with this team. Upon running Galarian Rapidash, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I decided to just swap out to Tapofini. Upon the brought in Azu. Azu into Tapofini is a dominant matchup for the Azu. But remember, I am loaded on energy. Look at that. So now, if I shield a player off, I can put them to shield, but I didn't shield. So it's kind of a rough situation. So I'm just going straight for the uh, Moon Blast here. And if I land this, I'm going to shield farm down. They decided to shield. I think I can get to the move. And we do get to the move. So this is huge. Because now their Azu might die. Which it did. So we won the switch with lots of with, with a shield. So now I don't need to shield this Azu. Because whatever they have, we can take too easily off. They have high odds power. That doesn't do that much. This is a body slam. I don't need to shield this body slam. So we're putting all of our faith into the Flygon. Flygon, don't let us down, please. And we're throwing the Ice Beam here. And the moment we kill this, we will be aggressively swapping. We swap. They do have a Lucario. This is where you need a non-shadow Flygon, actually. So we're going straight to Dragon Claw. They cannot afford to no shield because the mod shot is doing so much. And since we get to the, the Scorching Sand, we throw with this. And Lucario, go back to the trainer. And we take this game. Let's move. And that was a nice 5-0 set to start the day with. Okay. Claim. Look at that. Amazing 5-0. Now moving to the next set. Flygon into Registeel. This is the dominant lead. I think. Okay. They swapped into Azu. I fumbled this game. So this game is actually on me. I'm supposed to throw on 6. But I was reading chat. I did not pay attention. So I am in a bad situation. I need them to no shield here. They ended up shielding. Which put me in a bad situation. Because now I need to chip this. And since the switch is, 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 is scuffed. Uh, okay. We're going to no shield this. The switch is now so scuffed. If I insta throw the scorching sand. I could instantly swap to Azu. And make the game way easier. But yeah. Me staying in for too long. Uh, ended up punishing us. So if they swap in Azu, throw on six instantly, scorching sand, and then dip out. Wait, is it six or seven? Okay, we will count next one. I actually don't know, but I'm sure it's six. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm gonna end up baiting here. Hopefully they don't call it. Wait, they they have no health. What am I talking about? I somehow thought they lived that dragon claw. They brought back the Azu, and I'm going to try to catch it. And now it's all about the lost Pokemon. What do they have? And it's a Whimsicott. So I think I do live a move, but that's, that doesn't mean it's a, it's actually good to live a move there. Uh, we get a no shield. I do live a move because, uh, because they don't have a grass fast move, right? So shielding here, here would make some sense, but it's... Uh, no, it's actually not a good idea. I should have no shielded and just go to Flygon. And throw ASAP. And uh, if I throw there, I don't I, I don't think I win. I don't think I win. Whimsy is just tough for this team to beat. Uh, we, won a we won a game against Whimsy, but we cannot win them all, right? Because 
we need them to give us hope by throwing some matchups uh moving into the next one we are leading into wheezing this matchup is a bait dependent where you actually need to land your bait uh if you land your bait you have pretty much high hopes to win this matchup but if you don't land the bait it's a tough matchup uh this thing has been running sludge in the ultra league i don't know why i'm shielding sludge it's technically like a resisted move but everything does so much damage to this right so we're gonna keep it healthy look how much the mud shot has been has done so far to this thing i think they will try to catch at this point so i'm gonna over farm by a bit and always 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 chip the azu before you swap always always chip the azu before you swap always chip the azu before you swap because azu full health will take lots of efforts to beat but when you throw a scrouching sand uh, you put it like in half health, so it's no longer as scary of a Pokemon. Remember that. So always, 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 always chip the Azo before you swap. We're just going to go and insta scrouching sand it. And I hope for something that the Azo can handle. And it's a Haxorus. Haxorus got nothing to fight back the Azo. Because look at this. What they can do. Breaking swipe. Well, we have an ice beam for the hack. So that's an opponent decide to top left because they have no play. And here we have an Azu lead. So for the people who ask, how do I play the Azu? Why did I swap? Oh, this is no, no, no this is not supposed to, to be the way to do it. Uh, you throw and then you throw a scorching sand and you go Azu. But technically, this is not a bad play, by the way. Uh, I'm actually going to just throw these moves. I want to bait out the Reggie. Technically, if you can... Okay, let me pause and cancel. This. Sorry, we're using free YouTube so we get ads in between videos. Okay. And now we're just going to try to chip this as much as possible. And that's good, to be honest. And they focus blasted and they ended the charge. So I cannot stay in because of that so now what's the play the play here let's just land as many scrouching sands as possible and hopefully they don't shield the azu if they don't shield the azu i think i have a pretty good chance here because it's all gonna depend on the third pokemon that they do have so they didn't shield and they died with a move okay so this game here is exactly why you need shadow flygon non-shadow flygon cannot do this okay and if you don't have a good IV, IV doesn't matter that much. Because you see, I am always double shielding this. So I am always protecting the health on the Flygon with shields. Uh, they brought back Lucario. We're just going to bait Lucario. Lucario, the, even a resisted bait, will do lots of damage. And then we're going to insta-swap. And hopefully they don't throw a... Sh uh, we're going to call a bait here. Sorry. Oh, what shield the nook. Shield the nook is actually as good. Uh, you either want to shield the bait, call it no shield the bait, or shield a nuke. Opponent decided here to no shield, and that actually gave me a huge advantage. Because now I can just get to a move here, and pressure them to throw. The moment they throw, the moment basically they lose. Because my Flygon is almost on a move. So let's see. Flygon, I choose you. Flygon, throw a Dragon Claw on 1 HP Lucario. And taking this game as well, this Flygon has been sweeping this cup okay uh, i think this is the last battle oh no we have one more uh the Dene. we destroy this pokemon yes it's fairy but it's not one of the good fairies uh slurpuff is ideally actually the best safe swap in this cup because you can hit everything but that doesn't mean you're the best i'd rather use azu because azu is good at baiting out the stuff i want to bait out to protect my dead my, my tapu fini uh so uh by the way slurpuff can replace any of the fairies in this team so if you don't have azu or tapu you could replace that with the slurpuff literally will do the same job but i was using tapu because of the fast move pressure i needed more fast move pressure opponent brought back the dedene and the dedene is at two thunder shocks i'm going to try to over farm slightly i'm gonna insta swap and shield and hopefully we shield the uh, moon blast or play rough sorry are we gonna do one two three and then throw i could have over farmed technically by two but all i need is just to take this out like what could they have in the back they brought back the slurp of i'm gonna shield and farm them all the way down we're not gonna throw anything because our play is just farm down and they do have their own fly gun in the back so this game should be a gg because i have two fat fairies in the back that will handle any dragon that you have not you like the viewer no you like as like my my opponent 
And this Ice Beam is supposed to knock out two Flygons. And they're the trainers usually. Yeah, usually the trainer if they are like, you know, like low level trainer. And moving into the last battle. And we will get... Uh, what will we get? Let's see. Uh, we will get an Azumarill. So this is how you're supposed to play the Azumarill, by the way. Stay in. Throw a Scrouching Sand on 7. So do one above. Because you get it at, on, on 6. So you do one above. They no shield. You go to Azu. Why this is the play? Because you chip their Azu. Now what's the perfect play? If they throw on your Azu. That's the best scenario for you. Because you throw 6 seconds worth of energy. To chip Azu to half. But they will throw 7 seconds and a half worth of energy to do like 30% of your Azu's health. You would 6 seconds worth of energy did half of their Azu's health. That 7 seconds and a half worth of energy did 30% of your Azu's health. So this is like the logic behind it. It's like my cheap move did way better in the game than their uh, nuke move. Yeah. Uh, opponent has a G Fisk. Don't run G Fisk. I know G Fisk works better in the low MMR, but it's a bad Pokemon up in the like the higher you climb. I mean, I am not in high MMR games, like no way. But like the higher you climb, the worse this Pokemon gets because look how bad it is. I'm going to swap and watch. If I shield an EQ, I'm just gonna bully this. We shield an EQ, so we're gonna. Th uh, that's not a Dragon Claw range, so we're just gonna throw this. If they shield. I'm gonna throw the next one and opponent I think misplayed there. So we should take this game. And now there is no way they can do anything to take this game back. Uh, they threw the ice beam. This is the only game I did not double shield my flygon. So that's why we're featuring this game. We don't always double shield the flygon. This game we're gonna save a shield for the tap of Lini. And here opponent having a shiny Lucario. What a cool shiny. Let's be honest. One of the best shiny looking Pokemons in the entire game. The yellow combination with the gray. Uh, and Lucario itself is a, is a good looking Pokemon as well. They throw a place kick and we decided to call the bait and we ended up winning. So I'm going to show you the elo where I ended it so people won't doubt it. So that was a 4-1 set. So we are at 2500 and this is where we ended up at 2730. So technically 225 MMR climb in one stream. So that's why you should be checking our live stream, which I will be pinning in the description below at twitch.tv slash yashiralid. So yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Peace.